Welcome to a new video in where we are going to look at the night journey of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also known as the Isra and Mi'raj Isra wal Mi'raj Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah وَلَقَدْ رَآهُ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَى عِنْدَ سِدْرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى عِنْدَهَا جَنَّةُ الْمَأْوَى إِذْ يَغْشَى السِّدْرَةَ مَا يَغْشَى مَا زَاغَ الْبَصَرُ وَمَا طَغَى لَقَدْ رَآ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِ الْكُبْرَى The journey of Al-Isra was from the Kaaba to Masjid Al-Aqsa, from Masjid Al-Haram to Bayt Al-Maqdis Masjid Al-Aqsa. When the Prophet وسلم, was in his house, it is known in Sahih Al-Bukhari that the roof of his house was opened and Angel Jibreel السلام, descended. He was then taken to the Kaaba, in where Angel Jibreel opened the chest of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and poured wisdom and faith, poured Iman into his chest and then closed up his chest. It is very miraculous and where Angel Jibreel performed a spiritual cleansing to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a physical manner. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was then brought a white beast or a white animal. It was bigger than a donkey but smaller than a mule. And the name of this animal was called Burak al Burak and it comes from the Arabic word Bark and Bark means lightning in Arabic. So it signified that Al Burak was a very fast animal. And it was narrated by Anas anhu in Sunan al-Tirmidhi that Burak was settled and reigned, but he was shy from the Prophet wasallam. So Jibreel wasallam said to him, Is it from Muhammad wasallam that you do this? For nobody has written you who is more honorable to Allah Azzawajal than him. Then he said that the Burak started sweating profusely. In Sahih Muslim, it says that the Prophet ﷺ stopped by the grave of Musa السلام, on his way to Masjid Al-Aqsa and it was said that he saw Musa السلام, praying in his grave and this hadith is in Sahih Muslim and in Sahih Al-Bukhari. When the Prophet وسلم, reached Masjid Al-Aqsa, Angel Jibreel dismounted from the animal Barak and he pointed to his finger at a rock and the rock cracked in right in front of the Prophet ﷺ. Then Jibreel tied the animal Barak to the rock that had cracked open for him. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the Isra journey in Surah Al-Isra in the first verse after A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaytanir Rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير in Sahih Muslim, it states that the Prophet ﷺ, when he entered Masjid Al-Aqsa, he first prayed two raka'at that were known as Tahiyat Al-Masjid, and this was one of the first instances that the performance of Tahiyat Al-Masjid was done. From then, the Sunnah would be established that when you enter a Masjid, to pray two raka'at, Tahiyat al-Masjid. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed with the angels and the prophets that were there in Masjid al-Aqsa. And after he completed the prayer, someone told him that here is Malik. The angel Malik, the keeper of the hell, so convey salams to him. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turned to him. But he preceded me, the angel Malik preceded the Prophet ﷺ in the salam. And this hadith is in Sahih Muslim.
There is a hadith in Sunan al-Tirmidhi that says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he was in Masjid al-Aqsa, some of the Prophets were shown to him or presented to him. One of them was Musa alayhi salam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa describes Musa as a thin man and he says as if he was from the men of Shawnah and Shawnah was a Yemeni tribe. And he also saw Isa ibn Maryam in Masjid al-Aqsa and he said that the closest of people in resemblance to Isa ibn Maryam to him from those that I have seen is Urwa ibn Mas'ud. And he saw Ibrahim alayhi salam and he says of the people that are close in resemblance that no one is closer in resemblance to Ibrahim as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam continues and mentions about Jibreel alayhi salam in his human form that he saw him in. And he says the closest people in resemblance to him from those that I have seen is Dihya radiallahu anhu. After the prayer the Prophet ﷺ discussed with some of the Prophets about the hour or the alamat uh, al the signs of the day of the ju- day of judgment, and he spoke to Ibrahim and Musa ﷺ, and they told them that they did not have any knowledge of it. While Isa ﷺ mentions in a hadith in Sunan Ibn Majah, which is con- this hadith is considered sahih by Darul Salam, and it says uh, that Isa alayhi salam told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, I will descend and kill him regarding the Dajjal, the Antichrist, regarding the Dajjal and kill him. Then the people will, re- will return to their own lands and will be confronted with Gog and Magog, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, who will swoop down from every mound. And this also refers to our Quranic verse, in Surah Al-Anbiya, verse 96. After this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in a hadith in Sahih Muslim, Then I came out and Jibreel Alayhi Salam brought me a vessel of wine and a vessel of milk. Then I chose the milk, and Jibreel alayhi salam said, You have chosen the natural state, fitra. You have chosen the fitra. This concludes part one of the Isra and Mi'raj journey as we have discussed the journey of Al Isra, the journey between Masjid al Haram or from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and stay tuned for the video on the Mi'raj journey or the ascension to the seven skies that the Prophet ﷺ took with Angel Jibreel. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَآمَنُوا بِمَا نُزِّلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَهُوَ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ كَفَّرَ عَنْهُمْ كَفَّرَ عَنْهُمْ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ وَأَصْلَحَ بَالَهُمْ